Hello, welcome to episode 182 of the Data Mike Tutorial Series for version 1.2.1.4. Today we're going to be setting item durability using a score. I've got an item. Let's. I always put things so far away. Uh, let's set its durability. So I've set its durability to 50%. Um, we could set it back to full if we wanted to. You might be thinking, why is that number so high? Well, we'll get into that. There we go. Or we could set it down to really low if we wanted to. There we go. How many uses have we got left on that? Just one. Okay. So you can see this first score, or this first command, is setting the score. And that's what we're using to set the durability. Because the next command is literally just running item modify, open main hand, and then it's running the item modifier from our data pack. Okay. I think that is pretty clear of what we're going to be doing. So let's get on and make it now. Let's pop over. In fact, I've already cleaned out the, um, the, the data pack. So if I do a reload and we try and run this again, nothing happens and we'll get a message here saying error here. Now that's because I've removed the item modifier. So let's pop over to the data pack and have a look at the folders and files. Well, inside my namespace, I've added the folder item modifier and we've got set, set durability to a score. That's it. That's all we need. Don't need the load, don't need the tick. You should just remove them really, get rid of those. So we don't even need the Minecraft namespace. Okay, let's head over to Misode and let's make ourselves our item modifier. So we want to set durability, but um, that is the damage. So it's set damage. The damage, do we want to float? No, we don't want to float. We want to be able to change it. So we'll set it to an object. The type will be a score. The target will be an object. The type will be fixed. And this is going to be the name of our fake player. So let's call our fake player. Uh, let's call them hashtag. So no other player can have the same name. And also it doesn't show up on the scoreboards. Durability. And the score, let's just use value. That'll do for our score. Okay, and we'll put a scale in because we're going to be adjusting this. So we'll put a scale of one. Let's copy that. Take it back. Paste it in there and press save. Okay. Uh, let's do a reload. Right, what have we got? Let's change this to a one. And it's fully healed. Or I can change it to a zero. And we're down onto no uses. Hmm. Now, we can't actually do anything in between because this takes, or rather our item modifier, when it sets damage, it takes a value between zero and one. Zero means completely damaged, and one means no damage at all. So, not that useful, but we do have the scale. So now, if we say, okay, well, the scale is 0.1. Save. Okay, we've got, a, we've got a 0 0.1 scale now. And if we do a reload, now we'll find that we have 10 different settings. We can set it to 10. And it will be fully healed. We can set it to halfway, halfway between 10 and 0. We can set it to 5. And it will be half damaged, half durability. We could set it down to one. And oh, we've only got we've only got ten percent left. Okay, maybe you want more control because you still you still got one hundred and fifty seven uses on that diamond pickaxe. Okay, well then we pop back and we add another zero. So now we have zero point zero one. Okay, now actually that's more like a percentage because our score will now go from zero to a hundred. So we've got a hundred different settings we could choose from. So if we want fully healed or full durability, we set it to a hundred. There we go. 50%, half of that is now going to be 50. Hello. Did I not do a reload? There we go, 50%, I didn't reload, sorry. 50%, uh, and then we can go all the way down to one. 
1%. But if we have a look, we'll see we've still got 16 durability left because 1% 1 of 1,600, because it's rounding up, is 16. Well, okay, well, um, some of you probably finished a long time ago because you can get the idea of where we're going with this. We can add more precision by adding another zero. We can save that. And now let's not forget to do the reload. Now we will find that if we want full, well, a hundred's not going to do it. That's 10% now. We need a thousand to be full. Okay. And if we want to be half, you know what's coming. It's going to be 500. There we go. And if you want more precision, you add another zero. Let's see what we can get with, we put one on this system. We can get all the way down to two. Ah, I see, because it's gone down to 1.6 durability and it's rounded that up to two. So we need one more level of precision to be able to get that down to a one. There we go, we'll put an extra zero on there. We'll save that. We'll pop back. We'll do the reload. Now it's out of um, 10,000. There we go, that's full. If we drop down to one, now we will see that we are actually on one. What happens if we put zero? I'm assuming we have a tool we can't use. How useless. And that answers the question of, why was this number so high? Okay, they're 5,000, so we should be half damaged. There we go. It's just a quickie today. Busy, busy weekend. I've got a teaching camp coming up. Oh, and I've got a load of lesson plans to, to make. And we've got data land tomorrow, which I might record today if I've got time, actually. Anyway, you have a great day. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.